Hello everyone and once again welcome to Decadence for Beginners. In this video we're going to be taking a look at cue points. We're going to be talking about how to set up cue points. And I'm just going to drag my track onto track A. And we're going to be just discussing cue points here. All right now the first thing you want to do to set up a well before I go to cue points it's important to know about down the downbeat. The downbeat here, and actually you can't see it here because the downbeat is on the first beat where it should be, but just to make you aware of what the downbeat is, there are times when you might have a song that has a long intro where there is no established tempo yet, but the tempo does begin at the downbeat and Decadence needs to know that information in order to help it stay synchronized with other tracks, with other devices. So setting up the downbeat is important. And I just want to mention this. If you ever need to set up your downbeat, you can do so by just scrubbing to the first downbeat. Now, in this case, I just want you to be aware of how to set this up. And in this particular case, it is correct to have the downbeat here, but I'm just going to move the downbeat over to here just so you can see what it looks like when you set it up. So right here, I can scroll to the point here, get it as close to the beat as possible. This is a good helper. Okay, if you look here, if I scrub back, notice that's off. That means we haven't hit the beat yet. If I scrub too far, it means we're on the beat already. You kind of want to go maybe just a little right when that turns off. And then to set the downbeat, all I have to do is hit downbeat here, and then the downbeat gets set. So that'd be the first downbeat. Okay, but I can go. And rewind all the way back here by pressing A on my keyboard. We'll rewind the entire track. So right here, I just stop the track. And then if I hit A, I'm back to the beginning. And then I can set the downbeat there if I want to. So just to mention this about downbeat, if you ever have to set that up, just make sure it's at the right spot. Now we got here, once again, cue points. And the cue points, we can add cue points the same way. Uh, if I want to set up Q.1, I would click on Q.1 here to make sure it's selected down there. And then I could just line up to wherever I want it to go. So right here, I want to set up Q.1 here. I can just line it up and I can hit Q and that'll set up Q point right there. I have the ability to jump to different parts of my song down here. This is actually my entire song and this is for quick navigation. But I can set up cue point two somewhere in here. So if I press on cue point two. Okay, it's going to jump to cue point two, which is not set up yet. So it jumped all the way to the beginning. But I can click in here somewhere in the middle if I wanted to set it up in here. I can do that. I can scrub to where I want that to go, right about there. And then I can hit W. All right, that's a shortcut. Instead of hitting Q here, I can hit W. And now we have two cue points set up cue point one and two. I can do the same for cue point three. We can come down here and set up Q.3 somewhere. So you can set up your Q points. And again, this is good to quickly cue your tracks to a certain position. And so just so you're aware of how to set these Q points up, I'm showing you how to do it. And sometimes some of these tools here, you might not see a direct use for them right away, but it's good to know about them later on you might just have a reason to use it. So right now, even though it might not seem like something useful that you might need to do setting up cue points, it is something that is really useful. And if you're DJing long enough, eventually you're going to really find a need to set up cue points for your tracks. So right now, another example here, I got three and we'll use a shortcut key W and then we have cue point three set up. Now, how do we use these cue points? Or one thing, we can click on the cue points here. So there's, notice here, one, two, three. We're jumping right to our cue points. We can do it that way, or we can use our keyboard. So for one, notice I'm on three here. If I press one on my keyboard, we're going to jump to point one, point two, and point three. All right, we can play. So even in play mode, if I wanted to play up to a point and quickly jump back to two, I can just hit, and I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So notice I'm playing it, but if I want to jump to point two from here, I can do that. All right, I can jump all the way back to the beginning. 
three, two, one. So that's it. That's that's all there is to cue points. Just important to know how to use them and how to jump to them for now. And the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the, the loop feature in here. We're going to be taking a look at this loop and leap feature in the next tutorial.